What's up, guys? Hello, my brothers and sisters. How are you doing? Um, today is just another beautiful day. The sun shining. It's just, man, wonderful. So, um, yeah, I'm just like, it's wonderful here. I, I'm like, wow. <laughs> um, so, uh, where, where to begin? Um, so... Today is definitely another beautiful day. Um, you know, I've been getting, like, so close to God, it's like, I just can't help but just want to share it, you know? Um, God has really blessed me. So, I mean, I just thank you, Jesus, you know? I mean, the place I was at before was so ugh, tense, but this place is like so peaceful. And um <laughs> I I um I don't feel upset whatsoever. I feel happy. And don't get me wrong, I I love my family. I just I feel at peace. Um yeah, I hope Chris is blessed, you know. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not I'm not mad at him. I'm not upset at him. I hope he finds someone his age that, you know, will love him for who he is. We just, we didn't have anything in common we weren't meant to be, you know? And Chris will find that he will find someone that's way better. You know, someone who will love him for him. And, and she'll never leave him, you know? But me, I want to be with God. I want to be free. I don't want anything to do with the world. I don't... He just wasn't the one, you know? And besides that, I was too young for him and he was too old for me, you know? You know, they say age doesn't matter, but sometimes it does. But there was a lot of other stuff that came with it. And I just wasn't ready. And, um, this new family, I feel like I'm at home. I feel like, just so at peace. When when I say I love you to Rose, Pastor Rosa and Pastor Charles, they say I love you back when I hug them. They hug me back. I don't feel angry. I feel joyful. And this is all thanks to Jesus Christ. And I just, I can't thank him enough. And... You know, guys, this world, the rapture's coming soon. We don't know when, but we do know the season. Pastor Charles says that we're in Revelation. Um, we're in chapter 3. I don't know if that means anything to you guys. I mean, sure it does, because we all are in that one. So we just need to, uh, like, read it. Um, maybe I can find it? A Bible. Um, I'll just go ahead and start reading in it then. We were actually reading in it the other day. There we go. Um, chapter... Uh, I'll just start in... Uh, uh, let's just... Um, I'll just start from the top. At, um, I'll just begin to read in Revelation. And I'll read up to number three. That way you can kind of see how far we've gotten. You know? So let me begin. Revelation, since we are in Revelation. You ready? This, oh yeah, and before I do, I want you guys to know that all of us who have learned that we are sinners is wrong. Those people who are of the world are sinners. We are saints. We are followers of Christ. When I found out about this, I wasn't... Like, at first I was like, what? We're, we're not sinners? We sin, we sin, but we are saints. Basically, what a saint is is a follower of God. They have, they have sinned, they, but once, when they do sin, they ask God for forgiveness, they repent, and they move forward, and they don't do it again. That is what a saint is. A sinner is a person who always sins and never goes back to Jesus. That is why there are sinners and then there are saints. We are saints. And please pray 
for the people of the world, the sinners, because we have all sinned. Not all of us are sinners. And guys, please stay focused on God because you know what? God is listening. I, I remember in Bible study how um, uh, uh, Pastor Charles was saying that when you talk on the phone, it is not one way. You may talk to the, uh, the robotic voice thing for, for a few minutes, but then it hangs up. Talking to a person on the phone is two ways. Same with prayer. When you pray to God, when you pray to God, guys, He is listening. Even if you don't think He is, He is. He is. And, um, I'm going to read Revelations. Okay? Let me begin. And I love you all very much. Here I go. This is the revelation of Jesus Christ. God gave this revelation to Jesus to show his servants, his servants, what must soon happen. And Jesus sent his angel to show it to John. Servant John has told everything that he has seen. It is the truth that Jesus Christ told him. It is the message from God. The one who reads the words of God's message is happy. <laughs> That's true. I love Jesus so much. Um, and the people who hear this message and do what is written in it are happy. The time is near when all of this will happen. From John, the seven churches in the country of A Asia, grace and peace to you from the one who is, was, and is coming. And, okay, seven churches. Um, Jesus, please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just, from what I remember, um, we were talking about the seven churches in, um, in Bible study. So, um, like, there'll be churches, um, for example, there'll be churches who, like, um, I, just to kind of get into that, there'll be churches where they lie to you and say that we are sinners, and then there will be churches that say, we have sinned, but we are saints, you know, they'll say things like that. So there are good and bad churches. They'll be bad, they'll be good. The bad ones will state lies to you. Good ones will state truth. Now, something that I have learned recently in um, church is um, Pastor Charles, when we went to church, he's a pastor. He, it was like God was speaking to him. He was talking about how you could bring in, you could tell hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people, but God wants you to, to do that, and there'll, there'll probably only be one person who comes out of the hundred. But God always says, what about the one? If you say, that, well, oh, well, this is pointless, always remember that God has a reason for everything, and that one person may need you. And so when God tells you to do something, you got to just do it. Because that one person, he needs God. She needs God. You don't know who they are. They need God. And so when God tells you to do something, even if it's pointless, know that it isn't pointless. And there's always a good reason. And plus, God's God. You shouldn't question him. You really shouldn't. There's nothing to question. I mean... I was negative, very negative. In fact, um, let me set this down for a second. I honestly believed that I was never going to end up in a place like this. I just signed the papers today to stay here permanently. 
and I feel wonderful. You want to know something? Every single day, I would wake up thinking that I was living in hell. But I was never alone because I had God. When I truly needed to talk to someone, you know who was there? It was God. And don't get me wrong, I, I love, I love my family. But we were always arguing. Why? We were too busy arguing about the things of the world. But God, he has a plan for all of us. And let me tell you, this place is wonderful. Um, I would wake up, like, I, I would want to sleep for hours. I just didn't want to get up. Here, they tell me to get up, I'll get up. You know, it's like, woo, another day, another day. No more, no more stress. Oh, gosh, no more of that. All thanks to Jesus. Jesus answered both Pastor Charles and Pastor Rose's prayer. They prayed for someone to come, you know. Um, is this what you will, Lord? Do you want this person to be with us, or do you want this person, you know, like, do you want another person? And, um, that's what they prayed for. And then I was told about the family, you know, because I was told that I was going to end up in a group home. And I was told that it was going to be terrible. And I just kept praying for, like, a rental apartment. But then, um... <laughs> I was told about, like, these families, and so I, I kind of prayed, prayed to Jesus, uh, if, can I get a rental apartment, or can I be with a family who's of God, who's of Jesus, you know, Jesus Christ, and, um, I, I finally stated the truth, I stated the truth about my past, for many years, guys, for many years, I was too afraid that I would hurt my family. I was too afraid to state the truth. Until finally, I figured, I, I was told by uh, Miss Priscilla, she's such a wonderful person. Um, I, I told Miss Priscilla, she said that she won't, that it was confidential, you know? And so I told her. But... If there was any signs of abuse in the past, any sort, you know, because she asked me those questions. She said that she, she didn't tell me this at first, but like I was told this, I ended up learning this, that she would go to jail if she didn't say the truth on what had happened. So she told my caseworker, Mr. Kyle, awesome guy, awesome guy. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm... I'm going to hurt my mom, I'm going to get in trouble, oh my gosh, what's going to happen, because I was like, what the heck, you know, because he, he didn't, like, exactly hear, but there were signs of abuse, so people, I was told that people were going to go down and talk to uh, my family, and I was nervous about that too, trust me, well, I didn't know about moving yet, at that time, I was just told I was going to go, I could even say a resting place, kind of get away from the family so um I just uh I was freaking out I was freaking out you know because I was full of stress you know so um I go right and I uh go back to class a couple I think an hour or two later Mr. Kyle um comes back to me he, he brings me into the office and he tells me that, um, this is, like, all of a sudden, you know, like, that th this is came, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. It's like, um, you know, something unexpected came up. Unexpected. Here, unexpected. So remember, Pastor Charles and Pastor Rosa was praying, do you want this person to live with us, or is there someone else? And I prayed, could I have a rental apartment, or could I be with a family who was Christian, who was all about God? And you know what? This was unexpected, but I was told there's a family in Visalia. Now, I said I wanted to be with a family in Tulare, but when I, uh, when I was told about this family, so it was unexpected. 
So if someone had opened up the drawer, it was one of their guests. She looked nice. And then, um, I meet the family. I'm like, oh, my gosh. My gosh. My gosh. This family, their home. It's peaceful here. This is all thanks to Jesus. Jesus Christ. All those people saying that, um, oh, there, there's no God, or, oh, I don't believe in that. Forget them. Jesus is real, and Jesus answered my prayer. Jesus is a good, good Father. I don't care what anyone says. Jesus forever. I just, I love our God so much. Glorious, glorious Father, that is our God, Jesus Christ. And, uh, I meet this family, and you know what? They are like, um, how can I put this? Like, they believe we are all one. That is the best way to put it. We are all one. Color does not matter. We are all one. You know what? That's exactly how I think, too. And you know what? Um, you know, we were kind of talking earlier how, um, my, my mom had said that, uh, uh, you know, She's such a struggle to get out of bed and things like that. And I was. But here, they tell me, get out of bed. I'll just get out. You want to know why? I'm free. I am free. Thanks to our God. When people tell you that God is not real, that God cannot do this, that, oh, well, my God can do this, forget them. They can go and play with their fake god, whatever, or gods, whatever they... I'm going to be with my god. My god. Jesus Christ. There's only one god. That's our god. Jesus Christ. And let me tell you, I'm free here. And you remember how I told you guys that I could see this ghost named Cliff? I know this was kind of a while ago that I talked about it. Well, literally two days ago. Um, I told Kendall about it, because, you know, she's spiritual, she can see angels, things like that. I thought it was just a ghost. Found out. There's no such thing as ghosts. There's angels and demons. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Ghosts are real. Um, there's one that follows me around all the time. I just call his name, and, uh, he comes. My, Kendall's all, um, angels don't do that. And ghosts aren't real. That sounds like a demon. I'm like, a demon? No, th 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 this is just a ghost. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll call him. So I go, Cliff, and he, he just appears, right? She, she backed up. She, like, backed up against the wall, and she's like, no, that's a demon. He, his energy doesn't feel right. That, that's a demon. And so I'm like, a demon? And then uh, I asked him to speak. And I asked, I believe I prayed to God and uh, said, Lord, please allow Kendall to hear this demon. And she could hear him. And he said, um, he said to Kendall, uh, his, she, she said his voice was, Bleh. and so um, uh, she said that I, I, I talked to him and I said, are you a demon? And he said, yes. And I said, you know, and I tried to say, you know, you could be saved by God, but apparently demons cannot be saved by God. And he, when I talked to him about that, he's all, um, I don't care. I'm like, you're just a butt, you know? It's like, how can you not care about Jesus? Even the enemy should care about Jesus, because Jesus Christ is amazing. I love Jesus, Jesus forever. Anyways, so, um... Uh, yeah, so Kendall, uh, she, um, she said that he had said that, um, because I, for some odd reason, couldn't hear him anymore, which is weird, because before I could, but I couldn't hear him speak in whatever he was speaking. Anyway, so he said that he wanted to make me depressed and things like that. Anyway, um, Kendall had, like, um, put, I guess, something around the house and blessed it, you know, God had blessed the stuff, and she put it around the house, and the house was blessed, she put something on us, too, and she, she was really, and then she's all, get out of here, you know, and opens the door, and brings the spirit out, now, first of all, I was nervous that she even 
said anything like about to Pastor Charles because I was so used to see I could never talk to anybody except God about spirituality in my old house so I was kind of very closed like if I got attacked by an evil spirit if I got tempted all those sort of stuff I couldn't say anything because my family would think I was crazy. Turns out, this family does not think I'm crazy. They know about that stuff. And they believe me. And I'm like, thank God. Thank God. Because, um, apparently, there was a demon. And you know what was weird? Before I even knew he was, I thought he was just a ghost. Well, let me tell you, he was not. But thanks to Jesus Christ. He's gone. And last night, I had a dream of the maggot. You should have saw the form he took. He took the form of like a fat guy, with really chubby, crazy hair, and he, he's, I'm like, okay, I know you've tried tempting me before, but like, I was thinking this. I'm like, I know that he's tried tempting me before, but this is ridiculous. You know, I mean, <laughs> that's embarrassing. But, you know, he's just a maggot. It's not like he can do anything, you know? I have Jesus. You know what they say? The only thing you should fear is what Jesus Christ, our God, can do, you know? It's like, you, the only thing you should fear is what God can do. Let me tell you, Jesus is awesome. And so, yeah, a lot has happened here. I've learned a lot. I, I'm really close to God. I can hear, I hear God, you know, he talks to me, he talks to Kendall now too, a couple days ago, I think it was like maybe yesterday, maybe, yeah, I believe it was yesterday, um, she, or the day before that, I think it was the day before that, um, the day, I think it was the day after Cliff, like, got out of here, should I say the roach, so, um, Kendall can now hear spirits, specifically, God's voice. His voice is beautiful. If only you guys can hear it. And for all of you who can, it's beautiful, huh? God has a voice like you wouldn't believe. And so, yeah. And so, yeah. Uh, so, for all those people who doubt God, don't. You want a story? I got a story. I grew up with a lot of pain. But after I got saved, I started talking to God. I could hear God's voice and God changed me. He changed me. He showed me that this, there's not just evil in this world. And then he brought me here. He brought me to this beautiful home. I mean... Can any of those false, fake items do that? No. Can your money do that? No. God did that. Jesus Christ did this. And, you know, I, I just love God. I, I don't want to ever be separated from him ever again. No, I was never separated from him. God's always been there. And I have a feeling gut feeling that more is going to come when it comes to Jesus Christ. I have a feeling some big things will happen. And, uh, back to Revelations. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'll do it on the next video. This video is getting kind of long. So I'll come back to it. Love you all. Hope you have a great day. And I'm going to continue the Revelation thing. Love you guys. My brothers and sisters. You guys mean so much to me. I love you. And Jesus Christ loves you all. Amen.